Hey guys, Silent Knight here, and today I'm going to be showing you my ultimate PSP theme for One Menu. And One Menu is a menu replacer for your custom homebrewed loader, such as Arc 2 or VHBL. And if you're wondering why I still use One Menu, that is because uh, Adrenaline does not work on official firmware Vitas, and Arc 2 and VHBL do work on certain higher than 3.60 firmwares. Arc 2 specifically works on 3.63 and VHBL works on 3.63 and greater all the way to 3.67, which is the latest one as of now. So let me show you my theme here. It kind of just cleans up one menu a little bit and I hope you like it. Add some custom sounds and backgrounds. So it doesn't change anything when it boots up right now. But when we get into it, you will see a custom background. This is one I found online and I resized it to work on the Vita and it kind of has a PSP like feel to it. And some of these I changed from online and others I made myself. So here's another background included. It's the last one, but inverted. Here's a PSP style background in blue. Here's that same one inverted. Here's a kind of crystallized white background. Here's a crystallized black background. Here's a cool looking wallpaper I found online and I resized it for Vita. Here's another one. And this is one I custom made and I kind of based this off of the VHBL uh, loader background for the default menu, W menu. And here is that one inverted. So that's all the backgrounds it includes. Uh, I'll show you how to change your background too real quick. So say I want this one. You would open it up with one menu. And then you press triangle to change to it. Then when you back out it is now that menu. So another thing this does is when you change between your items and you select different things, uh, the sound is changed to feel more like an original PSP's click sound. Uh, so the one menu default sound didn't sound very good to me. Another thing you might notice is that the category headers are completely gone. And I just feel like that really cleans things up, especially if you use uh, if you use the game pictures, it gets them out of the way. And you don't really need those, I feel like, because you know what category you're in just based on what games are in there. And for us using VHBL that can't play PSP games through this, we don't even need the other categories. We really just need the homebrew category. So then the last thing this does, which I think is really cool, is it not only speeds up the launch of games, but it also gives you the original PSP style boot screen instead of the really long one that's default on launching these PSP games through these loaders. So let's open CSPSP here and I'll show you. And it comes with a custom sound too, so uh, it's similar to the same sound that was also used when you're launching games on the original PSP. So just like that, quick and simple. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, feel free to download it, check it out. That'd be awesome. See ya.